Hi there, uh, so I'm going to show you how this projector simulator plugin works. So first thing I'm going to do is just import the package. Uh, now normally when you want to simulate a projected image in a game, you have to use a standard spotlight and give it a cookie that has to be a square image and have a black border around the image. Uh, this image of balloons, for example, you cannot just drag and drop onto a light cookie. Uh, you have to you know, take it into Photoshop make it a square image, add a black border around the edge, um, and you only end up with a black and white projected image at the end. Uh, so anyway, I've done this with the balloons image, um, and you can see I can now apply it to my spotlight. And there we have a black and white image. So there's our projected image. Um, you can see that it does have shadows, and this might be good enough in some cases. But if, for example, you wanted your projector on a table, um, the light would be coming up at a much steeper angle. So shadows in this instance will not look correct. And the light on the shadowing object will not appear correct either. We can play with the light source, but we're never going to be able to realistically portray a projector that's sitting on the table lower down. So I've imported the package and I'm just going to delete this light source. I'm just going to drag and drop this projector prefab and you can immediately see that it's projecting a square image, not a circular image. Um, and I can now position it on this table. And you may say, yes, but the image is now hitting the floor. Uh, but that is why we have lens shift here. Uh, lens shift is a feature in real world projectors that allows you to move the projected image without moving the projector itself. Unity doesn't allow you to do this with its built-in light sources. So now you can see that this cube now creates the correct shadow for this projector's position. We can modify the throw ratio of the projector, uh, which controls the image width. The value is the projector distance divided by the image width. So a smaller value results in a larger image. This may be renamed to field of view at some point with more of a slider control to make it easier to use, as you wouldn't want to use stupidly small values below 0.2, for instance. We also have horizontal lens shift, and we can modify the brightness to control the result. We can also adjust the aspect ratio, of course, which is image width divided by height. Uh, this live checkbox should be checked while you are editing the projector as it will update the image as you modify the values. The projector script has been set to execute in edit mode so every time something in your scene changes the projector will check to see if any of its settings have changed unless this live checkbox is unchecked. So uncheck it when you're finished. We also have a place to put our texture now. Um, so I have the same balloons image which isn't set to cookie and all I have to do is, under Advanced, check this Enable Read Write, which will allow the projector script to access the, the texture data. Now all I have to do is drag and drop this onto the image slot, and there we have our projected image. Uh, we can still modify everything, um, and we can even tick this color checkbox here, and you can see that we can even project in color which you cannot do with the standard Unity lights. You can also see that the image is being projected realistically onto the obstacle. Uh, you can imagine if we had a character waving his arms around in front of the screen, it would create a, a very nice effect. Now I'm just going to open up this test scene which comes with the package. So here we just have a ball that moves left to right and you can see how the projected image is being distorted across it. Um, I've also added projected geometry, so there is a projector on the ceiling, which is fairly common, a projector on a table, which is fairly common, and a spinning projector, uh, which is also fairly common. Now, the other thing I wanted to show is the cookie size setting. Uh, so this balloons image, uh, for example, is set to 256, which means that the light cookie resolution is 256 pixels by 256 pixels. For the balloons image, this is okay, but if you have an image with more detail, such as the presentation slide I have here that contains some text, 
and some smaller text and some even smaller text, then a cookie size of 256 pixels would cause the text just to be unreadable. So this light has its cookie set to 2048. Uh, I can set it to 256, which is the default, uh, and you can see that the text becomes unreadable. Uh, you can experiment with uh, different values for your image, of course. Now, lower resolution cookies are quicker to generate. Uh, the cookies are generated when the projector becomes active, so usually at the start of your level. If you have the projector inactive at the start and turn it on during gameplay, uh, it may cause your game to freeze while it generates the cookies, so it may be best to turn it off as soon as the gameplay starts, instead of having it instead of starting with it off. And just to prove that projectors are free to move, um, yeah, I've added a spinning projector here. One thing I recommend is that when you're modifying the image, uh, to always have the resolution set to 256, uh, just to get the image into position. Um, adjusting a higher resolution projected image will create more lag, as the cookies have to be regenerated each time a setting is changed. Uh, so there you have it. Um, the only thing that isn't supported is projecting animated images such as video, um, as there's no way to guarantee a player's processor is going to be fast enough um, to generate the cookies at the required frame rate. The other option is to pre-compute all the cookies at the start of the level and then switch the cookie or projector with each frame. Uh, so perhaps this could be added in the future. Um, also in the future, uh, cookies could perhaps be generated using multi-threaded code, which would reduce the time it takes to generate the cookies, uh, especially high resolution ones. I could also allow the cookies to interpolate the projected image colours. Um, currently, it only takes the nearest pixel value uh, for the projected image. One thing to mention is that you may find some strange artefacts in forward rendering mode where the light seems to bleed out of the projector. Uh, now, this is due to the way forward rendering handles its light sources. In order to fix this, uh, go into your quality settings and under renderer, increase the pixel light count until the effect disappears. Now you may want to experiment with different camera positions as the number of active lights can change depending on the camera's view. Uh, so there you go, that is how you properly simulate a projector in Unity. Uh, thanks for watching.